The cabin fight isn't classified as a boss by the game's standards, but because of it blocking your way into progressing, we can consider it one for this instance. The cabin itself was originally your extraction point until... I'd rather not hear it. We've lost contact with the chopper. Someone must have shot it down. Great. Well, at least there's a backup, right? Someone must have shot it down. Never mind. I guess just don't ever be a helicopter pilot in the RE universe. The cutscene building up to the cabin fight is highly memorable because of this scene. What are we gonna do, Leon? I hate to say it, but we're sandwiched, all right. A second late. You would have fit nicely into a sandwich. And, of course, the ballistic remark by Lewis, which was, believe it or not, edited in the VR version. Leon! Small world, eh? Well, I see that the president's equipped his daughter with ballistics, too. How rude! And I don't believe there's any relevance with my figure and my standing. Who are you? Oh, oh excuse me, your highness. Perhaps the young lady might want to introduce herself first before asking someone his name. And don't worry, this time I'm going to edit the HD version of the game, as I noticed in the Delaga video, there were some audio issues during the VR sections. Leon! Small world, eh? Who are you? Oh, oh excuse me, your highness. Perhaps the young lady might want to introduce herself first before asking someone his name. Honestly, the first time I saw this scene, I was a bit confused, in an irked kind of a way. But, thinking about it, it edited the scene to make Lewis look more gentleman-like, while Ashley just comes off as a complete and total bitch to him, immediately jumping to... Who are you? No matter the difficulty, this part will always prove to be a challenge, as you'll be hurting for ammo unless you can run past everything, only killing what you absolutely have to in order to progress. And you know something's going down in the cabin when the merchant is just standing out there like a bouncer on the bridge, just waiting for Leon and Ashley to come straight to the dank party. Now, there's two things to remember in this fight. One, this fight is on a timer, believe it or not. This is a failsafe for the players that may be having a hard time with all the Plaga Parasites. Oh dear god, they're everywhere! Number two, there's a kill limit that'll force the encounter to end. Just look at the sped up footage and you'll see that the fight ends before Lewis even goes upstairs. Vamos. Another thing that hints towards the kill count is what Lewis says in his bottle cap voice. If you want to admire the bottle caps and more, the link to the video used is in the description. Speaking of the description and adding files for you to download, you can also find a link directly to the RE4 HD project mod there as well. When starting the fight, you'll actually want to break all the windows and then camp to the top of the stairs. Then when you get a handful of them inside and when they get close to you, you're going to want to make them regret that decision by launching a 12 gauge round directly through their skull and or torso, giving you that power trip of a doom slayer. Fun, right? After doing this for about three minutes, Lewis will tell you to go upstairs and hopefully not get rough, as Ashley is on a trip to Narnia as she hides in the wardrobe. Here's hoping Santa gave her a gun! You'll know you're getting close to running the timer out when Lewis says, Man! This never ends! Speaking of Lewis, he himself is invulnerable to enemies, but he could still be staggered a little. However, it is possible to hurt Lewis if you shoot him. Yeah, it's not recommended, but he's pretty forgiving him from accidental shots. Leon! Ballistics too? Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and or night, depending on what part of the world you live in. I'm Shadow, and I'm out.